Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. This is magic. Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. <laughs> Rock guitars and wicked waves of sound. What is a wave? What are the parts of a wave? What are the characteristics of a wave? What are some types of waves? I've been learning about all of these ideas lately. It's fascinating. I think you'll find it fascinating too. So, when you think of a wave, do you think of this? Or this? Or even this? Hmm, probably not. In the world of science, a wave is a regular pattern of motion. This children's toy, a slinky, is a good way to illustrate what a wave is and how a wave works. First, create a disturbance at one end. You'll see the wave, an oscillation, move from one end to the other. A wave is a regular pattern of motion. See the regular pattern of motion, follow it. A wave is a regular pattern of motion. The cool thing is, waves are everywhere. Every sound we hear, every light that we see, the movement of grass blown by the wind, and even sunlight are all examples of waves. Waves are literally all around us. Waves are created by a disturbance that leads to oscillation. Disturbance. Oscillation is a scientific word meaning vibration or movement. Oscillation is movement back and forth at a regular speed. Two kinds of waves are mechanical and electromagnetic. Mechanical waves, like the waves of the ocean, travel through matter. Electromagnetic waves, like light, pass through space or a void. The peak or highest point of a wave is called the crest. The lowest point of a wave is called the trough. Waves can have distinctive characteristics or properties. The wavelength, the distance from crest to crest or trough to trough. The frequency, the number of waves in a given amount of time. Amplitude, the height of a wave. Let's dig a little deeper into the anatomy of a wave. Wavelength is a measure of the distance between two crests or two troughs that are adjacent or next to each other. With sound waves, wavelength determines pitch. The shorter the wavelength, the higher the pitch. The longer the wavelength, the lower the pitch. Here's another way to express it on this guitar. The wavelength for the high E string is shorter than the wavelength for the low E string. Cool, right? This is the same note. E. But this is a fatter string, not stretched as tightly as this. Check it out. Longer wavelength, shorter wavelength. With electromagnetic waves, the wavelength determines what type of wave is produced. Radio waves are the longest. X-rays and gamma rays are the shortest. Visible light is towards the middle. 
Want to hear a bunch of mechanical waves? <laughs> Let's make waves! The wave amplitude is the strength or intensity of the wave. A wave can have a high amplitude or a low amplitude. The amplitude is measured from the resting or the equilibrium position in the middle to the crest or the trough. It's important to remember that the amplitude is not the distance between the top and the bottom of the wave. The greater amplitude of the wave, the greater the energy it is carrying. This wave has a higher amplitude than this one. This wave is a high energy wave. This wave is a low energy wave. With a sound wave, amplitude is related to volume or loudness. Loudness or volume is the way the human ear perceives sound. When the amplitude is increased, the sound gets louder. And when it is decreased, the sound gets quieter. Frequency is the number of waves in a given amount of time. Many times the frequency is measured in waves per second or hertz. 20 hertz, 40 hertz, 80 hertz, 160 hertz, 200 hertz, 320 hertz. More waves in a second equals a higher frequency, more frequent. Fewer waves per second equals a lower frequency, less frequent. Think about slow rolling waves at the beach, with more time between waves, low frequency. Huge crashing non-stop waves during a hurricane would have a higher frequency. We can use multiplication to help us calculate how fast any wave is moving. The formula is speed equals wavelength times frequency. Remember, a wave is energy being transferred from one place to another. If I drop a rock in the water, the energy created when the rock disturbs the water starts a wave. Ocean waves are started by some disturbance like wind or earthquakes. Plucking a guitar string is a disturbance that starts sound waves. Waves are started by some kind of disturbance. Mechanical waves travel through matter. Did you get that? Waves are vibrating through something. The something they are traveling through is called the medium. The medium can be a solid, liquid, or gas. It's the medium that's vibrating as the wave is passing through. Electromagnetic waves are another way energy travels through space. They include visible light, infrared rays, light and heat from a burning fire, and microwaves. They are different from mechanical waves. They can travel through empty space or a void. They do not need a medium. Electromagnetic waves also include radio waves, including Wi-Fi, gamma rays, and X-rays. They have the smallest wavelength and the highest energy. The wavelength of electromagnetic waves determine what type of wave is produced. Radio waves are the longest, X-rays and gamma rays are the shortest. Visible light is towards the middle. A wave is a regular pattern of motion. And waves are everywhere. You can see some waves, like waves on the water. You can hear some waves, like the notes of a guitar. Or you can experience light that has traveled millions of miles from the sun to the earth. It traveled here as a wave. Waves have energy. We can even use the movement of ocean waves to generate electricity. The mechanical energy of the wave is used to turn turbines that generate electricity. A wave is a regular pattern of motion. Waves are everywhere. Every sound that we hear, every light that we see, the movement of grass blown by the wind, and even sunlight, all examples of waves. Waves are literally all around us. Slate 95. Denied. The, 